Good evening, everyone. I'm Shanna St. Myers. Meanwhile, the sheriff is taking a different approach to budget cuts. Employees will move to a 32 hour work week, avoiding layoffs for now. But what does that mean for you? You know. Another change, deputies will no longer respond to accidents to help state troopers with the flow of traffic. Troopers will work all accidents along with city police. The actual rebuilding process does in fact mean a boost in business for some, mostly construction workers and building supply stores. Sherwin-Williams is bouncing back from April 27th. The company is working out of a truck, so it is tight quarters, but the business is there. David Neal joins us on this special Friday. It's nice to have you in here, and it was nice to see a little rain today as well. Yeah, any yeah. more little surprise rainstorms? Sweaty. Perspire. <laughs> it, you know, it makes you perspire a lot. If, you, if you're not wearing a shirt and you get in one of those the, you know, plastic seats there and you get up, it's, it's coming with you. So yeah. that kind yeah. of weather. Yeah, it's hot out there. Yes. It's, it's women who perspire, right? Yes. Men, men sweat. I yeah. prefer glowing, I'm but glowing. you can yeah. say whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> All right, yeah. thanks, David. Yeah. CBS 42 News. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Al, but she was lying. It was that bad. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Great effort out there. Well, we'll talk about a creative campaign this weekend. The small town of Phil Campbell will get a bit larger. Every single temporary resident will share the same name as the town itself. Even though they hail from different places around the world, the group coming in to help the community rebuild are all named, you guessed it, Phil Campbell. Now this is just too good. There's a weekend I'm with Phil Convention in Phil Campbell, Alabama. About 18 people with the same name will take part in a move to raise spirits, money, and new roofs. The campers themselves, and I just envision <laughs> that in, in my daughter one day, me and her doing yeah. that. She's seven and not the best basketball player, hey, though, <laughs> but at least we have fun. Yeah, exactly. You know? She could be like the little girl just sitting on the court, just yeah. rolling the ball back and forth. Now, when it's father's son camp, my man Ryan, he will tear it up. Tear it up. Baller. <laughs> Looked yeah. like they had the goals down to about six feet. Even I could dunk on one of those, you know? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Thank you, Brad. An uproar from... The 1927 structure will be demolished this summer to make room for a new stadium, athletic fields, and parking. Officials say there are no changes to tear down the structure at this time. If only the walls could speak. I huh? know, right? A it's lot of memories amazing. There. Home of the thundering herd. Yes. Saudi women bust now their hair stands straight <laughs> up. I know. I wanted to see them racing. Oh. You're seeing uh, Mark's eyes so wide. He's oh like, wow. bugged out about that far. Wow, really well. Can we see Aldo some more Zumba? Yeah. Please. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah. 